it was a struggle. Um, I had lost my job. I had never been homeless. Um, so, but I'm trying to get back into things, um, which was pretty hard for me because I have degrees and you would kind of think you go to school, you get your degree and you, you know, think that there's job security and sometimes it's not. The shelter I was in, I was there a little over 90 days. Uh, I had never been in a shelter before, so it was like new to me. Um, I had been through, you know, some rough times, you know, raising my kids, being a single parent, but I've always worked two or three jobs, you know, I've always been the one to provide. So to get to a point where I'm like helpless and have to depend on someone else was pretty hard for me because I've always been independent. In the shelter, I was more the quiet one, and you know, people was like, "Oh, you always wear a poker face," you know, and it's like, <laughs> you know, and I was looking around, and I'm like, God, "How did I get here? You know, how long am I going to be here?" Right. You know, but then you know, I just try not to dwell on the bad part of it, right. and just you know, dwell on the good part on, you know, how am I going to get out of here? <laughs> right. But I thank God that, you know, I was able to, you know, not let the situation consume me because it did get depressing. Oh, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. It did get hard at times. I mean, to go from, you know, having a nice car, nice job, nice home, to just have literally nothing was like overwhelming. So I can kind of see how some people probably do commit suicide, you know, you know, but good thing I had a good support system, um, you know, I have two kids, you know, but then I was like, I don't want to put my burdens on them because, you know, they're, they have their own lives, you know, so mm -hmm. I just fought my way out of it, you know, each day it got a little better. <laughs> well, last night I had an air mattress, which I quickly broke down this morning when I woke up, but I always keep that, you know. But I'm looking forward to sleeping in my own bed. I'm kind of scared to get in it because it looks like it comes out of a magazine. I don't really want to mess it up. So um, I'm really looking forward to it because I went back there and like, God, let me look at how she got the bed made so I can put it back the same way in the morning. But everything is fabulous. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Humble Designs. You're the greatest. Thank you so much.